I used to like just taking videos, meaning I've never taken any personal interest when it came to photography. I like shooting videos rather than taking pictures because with videos, when you watch the video again, you can see what was going on at that moment and you can also hear what was said and other things. And with photography, I used to find it boring, but it all changed. Because for me, watching a video, the emotion is not as strong as compared to looking at photographs. The, the strong emotion is still there. You know, like you smile while watching it, you reminisce afterwards. But when you relive memories with photographs, it's just different. You know, I'm not talking about those motivational videos when uh, after watching it, you, you're inspired to do something. I'm talking about just family videos, normal videos that you took with your friends, like that. So for example, when I watched my trip to Japan, when we went to Mount Fuji, we crossed the world's busiest crosswalk. When we went to go see Gundam, Gundam? Gundam, 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 Gundam. I don't know. <laughs> and my trip to Philippines, when I spent weeks with my relatives, when we went snorkeling in Davao, when we saw a sea snake, in Davao while snorkeling. That was pretty scary. Funny story too. Everything was caught on tape, but we're gonna talk about that some other time. Watching those videos made me happy, brought back a lot of memories and experiences, but uh, when the videos were over, the emotions and thoughts went with it. I mean, it did linger for a while, but it wasn't there. That's why I broke up with my videos. <laughs> Anyway, but with pictures, it's different. One time, I was cleaning my room, looking through old stuff, and then I saw pictures of me and my friends taken with my Polaroid. And these pictures were taken in 2014 in Brazil at a Posada. Posada is their B&B or motel, or not, not motel, more like a B&B. So anyways, like I found myself staring at those pictures for, for almost an hour. I wasn't doing anything. Time was just frozen. Looking at those pictures, I wasn't only seeing what's in the picture. In my head, I saw the experiences we felt when we were there, the people that we met, the fun things that we did. Basically, my point is with pictures, you can see more than what is being shown to you. That is deep. You know, I need to take note of that. With pictures, you can see more than what is being shown before you. Wow, <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> For example, this picture taken by Josh. You might see this picture as just a well-taken photo. You know, but for me, I see a story behind this picture. I see two friends talking, drinking boba, laughing, etc. You name it. And that is my perspective in regards to this photo. So going back to the pictures that I found in my room, what happened in my room opened a, a whole new perspective in photography for me. But I didn't start photography right there and then. What motivated me to start photography was the time when I was on my computer and Kuya was outside in our backyard getting avocados. Quick backstory, that was the moment when Kuya was going to, was moving to Brazil for good. So I thought to myself like, wow, this might be the last moment that he'll ever set foot in our backyard. So what I did was I grabbed my camera, pointed the camera at him and Right before I hit the record button, I unconsciously pressed the shutter button instead. And I don't know why, and that's how I got this picture. You didn't see any picture, right? Because I lost the picture. So the next day after taking that picture, I spent the whole day learning about ISO, aperture, shutter speed. Because I think when it comes to photography, I don't consider myself as a beginner. I consider myself as an intermediate beginner. You know, like someone who is more advanced than a beginner, but not an expert yet. I think I just define intermediate. <laughs> I want to improve my photography skills, so I asked two of my friends, Josh and Ian, to help me out, to teach me. So we went to downtown LA, we did a photo walk there at night, because I like lights, I like the mood at night feels like everything moves very slowly so we went to this very romantic place because of the lights unfortunately the security guard had to ask us to leave for the property was already closed but I managed to take some pictures uh, I learned a lot that night I had fun so shout outs to Josh and Ian make sure you guys follow their Instagram account okay so till then uh, peace out black mamba out Kobe! I miss Kobe.
I don't who do you guys think will be the next Kobe? Or you know what? <laughs> That's like way out of the topic. 